Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Lifespan Growth and Development course. I'm going to show you around the course a little bit, introduce myself. My name is Professor Anna Claire Zaborowski, and you're welcome just to refer to me in emails as Professor Z or Prof Z. It's kind of hard to spell and remember Zabrowski every time. I do ask that when you do email me, and I hope you do when you have any questions at all, that you address the email with my name so you know that you're contacting the correct professor. Uh, state your question or whatever you need. Sign your first and last name at the bottom of your email. Then if you know it, your G number is handy as well. Once in a while, I'll have two students with the same name. After you put your first and last name and G number, I'd like you to get in the habit of writing under that Psych 2314, PSYC 2314. Um, if you look at the screen, that's our course, Psych 2314. Now you can put lifespan growth and development, but all I really need is the 2314 part. The reason I say that is I teach different courses. And if you have a question for me about a quiz or a test or an assignment, um, I'm not gonna know what course you're in unless you let me know. And that way I can look up your information quickly and get back to you as soon as possible. I reply to emails Monday through Friday afternoon um, within 24 hours of receiving them from you. Make sure you're using your San Jacinto College email account because if you don't, that can go in my junk and um, junk email and I won't get it. So when you email me using your San Jacinto College email account, I will reply to you within 24 hours and um, on the weekends, if you email me at that time, I can't get back to you until Monday morning. The reason I say this is one, I'm good about returning emails as quickly as possible. But over the weekend, if you have a question about an assignment or if you have any issues, I won't be able to help you until Monday morning. Um, I do leave my assignments on um, available over the weekend. My due date time is on the Sunday at the end of the week at 11.59 p.m. Um, that is to allow my students that have to work primarily on the weekends to get their stuff done. However, if you have an issue, I won't get it till Monday morning. And the problem with that is I don't take late work. You can do anything early. Things will be open and available to you. Um, I recommend you start all the week's assignment early in the week in case you have any questions, because I don't want you to get stuck uh, in the weekend and not know what to do. And then by the time I'm able to email you back on Monday morning, that assignment is probably late. All late work is a zero and all zeros are an absence. I have to record absences through San Jacinto College enrollment and to enrollment services in an online course if you don't complete the assignment in time, it is considered an absence and a zero. So you will see that when you miss an assignment, you will also get an email saying you are absent. I can't change this, but I will tell you this. If you get any kind of financial aid or you plan to in the future, make sure you are participating regularly in the course because I have heard that they can pull your financial aid or not give you financial aid if you enroll in a course and don't do the work or you miss um, you know, a week at a time or multiple weeks at a time. It's usually not an issue in this class. Um, most of you are highly motivated and you'll be able to look at what to do during the week and then organize it yourself. If we were um, going on campus and meeting face-to-face, this eight week course, we would have to meet face to face six hours a week. And because um, we're not meeting face to face, you do need to schedule at least six hours of your um, work time uh, within a week as if we were meeting. So I would say two hours a day or, um, you know, an hour a day, six days a week, however you want to break it up, it's fine. It's just not meant to be done all at one time. And it's not meant to be done at the last minute during the weekend, but it doesn't close until 1159 on Sunday. You'll see the calendar. It will become your best friend because you will be able to see everything that's due and when it's due. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. All right, back to the course. I'm Professor Zabrowski. I've been teaching lifespan growth and development for 20 years plus. Um, I've been online teaching almost that long. 
Um, I have a unique perspective as an instructor, in my opinion, because I have um, three grown children. Two of them are currently in college. One just graduated from college. And I, too, have gone back to college to get my um, therapist license through the Lamar University online course. I tell you that because I have the perspective of an instructor, a mom, and a student. And I realize that if things are confusing and frustrating, it can get bad fast. So my goal for you is to lay out things as easy as I can see that, that possible, um, give you my expectations up front, and then be available to you directly through email access. So let's go through this. And if you have questions, please answer, um, just email me after we're done. So the announcement page is the first thing you will see when you log on to our Lifespan course. Um, and the announcements I put here, I also email them to your San Jacinto College email account. I recommend you check your email uh, at least three times a week. Also, if you look at the top here, there are tabs available to you. Student services tabs has so many services provided for students. If you would like to look that over, San Jack Live, uh, tech support and library. Tech support is very important because it will have not only phone numbers and ways to contact if you have um, Blackboard issues or technology um, issues, but also um, an email and a Blackboard support. So you have Blackboard tech support and regular IT tech support. Either one of these um, will be able to help you if you have email issues, if you can't run a program, if you're having Blackboard issues, password issues, etc. So this is the this is just right above your Blackboard page and courses and in that little uh, banner area. So if we continue to look at our course, this is our announcements. Online start here is here. You um, have probably clicked on the orientation. I ask you to look through all of these tabs um, as your orientation. And then after you do so, after you watch the video and look through all the tabs, then I ask you to email me using your San Jacinto College email as soon as possible. Um, I need to grade these by the Wednesday of our first week of class. Um, anything else that's due during the first week, you can get done by Sunday, but I have to um, count you as enrolled in my course by Wednesday. So please email me. And once you do, I will send you back a welcome email and that will be our connection that 100% sure I have your correct email, you have mine. So I will respond to you so you know you, that I got it. Then after you email me using these, um, these short answers, then you'll post on discussion board one and you'll reply to two other students. Then you'll look over the syllabus and calendar and print the calendar if you need to. So if you look down here, these are all your steps. You'll click on all of those and then you will be oriented in the class and you will get your first discussion board grade. The syllabus is here. You can click on that and look over it. It's an online program and your calendar is here. To me, the calendar is one of the most important things in the entire class because it gives you a week by week description of what's due. And like I said before, everything is due on the Sunday of that week, depending on what we're covering at 11.59 p.m. So you'll have access of that calendar and I will send you reminders. My faculty profile is here, my email is here and in other places. Um, I am free to meet Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Zoom or by phone. You can email me at any time. And if those times don't work for you, then you're welcome to uh, email me and we can work something out. I am completely online, so I can meet on you online um, or through email is probably your first best way to contact me and then we can work something out if it doesn't work out at that point. Your online textbook is free. Um, there's a PDF version here and you will need to download the textbook and keep it handy because your assignments will require you to cite the textbook. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. Then you have your grades here. This is where I take attendance. 
Unit one through four is just helps you break down the course. It is not week to week. It's kind of what is re you're responsible for the whole entire unit. It takes multiple weeks to finish one unit, I promise. But with this, it kind of gives you a, a, a list of what to expect in unit one. You will um, read the chapters. There will be a link here. You'll watch the supplemental videos. Anytime there's a topic within the chapters that I think would serve as well to give more detail or, or um, more entertainment value, just to kind of get to dig deeper in certain topics in the book, they will be in what we call supplemental videos. And those are, depending on how long they are, it will take a different amount of time. Those will be YouTube links. Then you'll have journal entries for every unit. Every chapter has a journal entry. And what those will be are, there'll be a prompt and basically what you're doing in the journal entries, there's nine of them, um, you will create a fictional person and you will use the theories in the book to kind of step by step go through this individual's lifespan. Um, it can be your examples sometimes are um, you make them up yourself, like the name and um, the gender and different things like that. But then you will not only make up your own part of this fictional person, but you will use actual theories out of the textbook to tell me where they are in that lifespan growth and developmental stage. Um, and then every time you use anything out of the book, you simply just put the page number where you got it out of the book. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be APA. So basically you're writing a full paragraph as a journal entry. You submit it in the text box. You don't do it in a word and upload it. There'll be a text box. You write about your person. And then at the end, you'll say information on Piaget was found on page 59. But at the end of each journal entry that will be required. And I say that because you will also be required to tell me where you found the information for your test. Everything in this class is open book and book is necessary and encouraged. So when you're taking the short essay test, they are timed two hours. Um, there's usually four to five questions. They're over the three chapters we previously had in that unit. And those are a little bit more detailed. You will have two paragraphs, two full paragraphs. And guys, I want two separate paragraphs and I want those paragraphs to be at least three to four sentences long. I've had to say that over the years because I guess it's just a chunk of information. So I want to see two clear paragraphs, sometimes more if you feel like the answer requires more detail, but two full paragraphs answering the question using your book, of course. And then at the end of your test question, you're going to say pages um, 15 through 17. It's okay if you give me a short range. You just need to tell me in the book where you found it. I don't want your test question answers to be based on your opinion or online information or another textbook. Use the textbook that you've been given, and that is going to be part of the credit for getting the right answer. Um, always with journals, discussion boards, and tests, um, spell check, grammar check, do basic um, um, things to make sure that it's college ready information that you are submitting. There are, um, of course, links to the textbook everywhere, but you will be downloading that and keeping it on your computer so that you can use it during the test. Two hours at one time, um, and then you will submit it. You won't save and come back to it. So be ready. Have your, have your chapters already read when you're sitting, sitting down to do the test. You don't necessarily need that for journals, but it probably will help you um, because those aren't timed. But make sure that you have read over the chapters, watched the videos, looked over the PowerPoints if you want them to kind of guide your readings. You don't have to download the PowerPoints. The reading is more important. Um, but PowerPoints are also good if you're going back to review if it's been a while since you've read that chapter. So you're reading the chapter, watching whatever videos are associating it with it, completing your journal entries, making sure you're putting the page number where you found the information, completing your discussion boards where you don't have to put a page number, um, and you do have to post yours and reply to two others, and then you'll take the test, and it's short essay test where you will need two full paragraphs or more. Um, you will need to spell check, grammar check, all the things you should do for all your assignments. And then you will put where in the book you found your answer. If you miss any of that, I will let you know the first test. Um, some points will be deducted. 
um, and you'll get used to doing that as we go through the course. But if you forget to do that, you can't do it after the fact. Once the test is closed, don't send me your page numbers. Um, just make sure you're reading all the directions and you should be fine. Even if you forget one or two page numbers, it's not going to count off significantly in your overall grade. So these are the units. These are what are in the units. There are four units. If you go back up here, you will see that there is the supplement, supplemental video link where for each chapter, you might have one video, you might have two videos. Um, most of the videos, um, you will click on a YouTube link. You'll watch that because you'll have test questions over that video. Um, and it will help you understand the information in the chapters even like better than before. Then you have discussion board where you will post, you will post yours, you will reply to two. There are four of these and um, you will see the due dates when you look at the calendar. Then you have PowerPoint lectures if you want a abbreviated version of the textbook for each chapter. The journal entries go under journals where you will Click on that, read the instruction, read the prompt, and then write it in your um, submission box. Um, and if you need to do, you know, copy it, put it in Word, um, and spell check it and then put it back, however you want it, but make sure you put it in the submission box and submit when you're done. Those are where you find the journals. And then lastly, the way we're graded is um, essay tests. And there are four. And the first one covers three chapters. The second one is two chapters, two and two. So the first one's the longest. It is two hours long and I give you instructions above it. There are some links to tools and resources for students at San Jacinto College um, that you might find helpful. I wanna let you know that if you need anything for our course or just if you have general questions about San Jack, and you don't know where to go, just feel free to email me and let me connect you to whatever resources you might need. Sometimes you can find the information easily on your San Jacinto College main page, but sometimes it's a little bit harder and I don't mind at all being your advocate and helping you kind of navigate some of the other things that you need to know to be a San Jacinto College student. I know this was fast. I hope it was helpful. Um, please, Look over the site, but of course, make sure you've done the online start here. Ask me any questions you have to get started. Again, I'm really good at emailing you reminders. Just make sure you're checking your San Jacinto College email um, at least three times a week. I look forward to a great semester and um, thanks for taking my class.